one of the things, one of the angles I want to point out. One of the angles I would like to point out. Let me clarify so that he catches up. I have a static IP. You guys all have um, dynamic IP. Mine's more. Two stats. There's two stats. I couldn't remember the other one. Yeah, and I would use that. Couldn't remember the other one. But I know these guys all have dynamic. Mm -hmm. That's a dump shot. No. None of it is a dump shot. Take it out 
but it would still be in that back room. So basically, they have a back room setting here. So it would be just like what we have at the end of the building, but in the back room. But this one piece, I could actually take out and bring it to the council on anything or something like if we wanted to, depending on bandwidth and if there's going to be limitations. It's not something that we need to do all the time, but if we ever needed to do it, mm -hmm. we would have the ability to do it. And how much is that piece? That piece is uh, thirty nine ninety five. So the $1,000 for the one 
looked at the editing and all of that. I will if you guys approve it. I will get a purchase order and then I'll present it to someone. And the one that you're not getting is the thirty nine ninety five. Not yet. Okay. That one that one's gonna be included in the building on this one. And who is who who is who that you're talking to? Can you guys access it? But we, we 
did actually have a discussion as to whether or not we should just buy a PC to run just the equipment in that room, or should we buy a PC to run a full editing suite and be able to, and now we, we would essentially be able to edit on two machines because the i5 that I have now, the HP i5 that I have now, would go in there to run um, the software for the equipment. And the newest would be able to go in my office to be able to edit on because it would be obviously editing even simpler um, because it would be virtually no time in um, transporting the files um, in the handbag or burning the DVDs or, or anything of that nature. So it just, I mean, for the price, we could build one for 8900 that's just going to run the software. We could go 1500, have two complete editing systems um, that we can use uh, it's beyond what he has to use in, in his office, uh, in his classroom, um, that would be able to handle the rigors of, of real editing programs. Now I'm talking like, you know, Adobe Premiere Pro and, you know, or Where is the company out of if you have issues with, you know, new tech support you need somebody to come in? The only thing I will say about MX is they have, from my experience at the council, I they've been extremely responsive. Yeah. And when you've needed them for anything, they're right there. So do you have that with whatever this other company is? Yes or no. Yeah, I would be I building mean, that I, I myself. Call, and they're there within but, 24 hours. You, there, you're, look, you're looking at a little different customer. You're looking at a customer. So I'm building it myself. And if I have an issue with any of the components in the system, I know every one of them has a warranty. So if I got a bad motherboard or a bad piece of RAM, I'd be able to send it back no problem. Okay. But I don't really need anybody to come in and I don't like the difference between a mechanic buying car parts and the rest of us buying car parts. I mean, we're, we're buying the place as much as the parts. And part of the reason why we're happy that MX is responsive like that is because people like you and I don't want to spend our time to work around computers. We're willing to spend a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. yeah, I
Did you say two thousand dollars? So I, I think for the next meeting, I think we're going to have to 